and in business, the country's petroleum production is likely to face threats if measures are not put in place to some review laws guiding the industry. That's according to findings of the Public Interest and Accountability Committee, PIAC, after assessing 10 years of petroleum revenue management in Ghana. The threats could impact both local and international activities. According to the findings, some of the concerns that could affect the industry include the growing discussion on energy transition and impact of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement on local content legislation. The increased conservation on energy transition from fossil fuel to clean energy is likely to affect the country's revenue from the oil and gas sector. The report also highlighted some regulations that need to be reviewed in local content in order to cater for the African Continental Free Trade Agreement, giving some highlights to launch the report on Ghana's 10 years in oil production. Chairman of the Public Interest and Accountability Committee, Kweku Adofrimpon, called on stakeholders to intervene as soon as possible with reviews to both policies and regulations in the petroleum sector. But remember, Africa AFCFTA, when they come in, those members, whether they are Ghanaians or not, they also become local. And then we have energy transition. The emerging energy transition also affected the upstream petroleum industry globally. And Ghana is no exception. And then we have a problem or challenges underlying sensing. The energy transition poses real challenges to competition, competitive world bidding as the default system of the licensing. Hence, there's the need for fundamental relook at the way licensing is to be done in the future. These are their findings. Responding to some of the recommendations, a Deputy Minister of Energy, Andrew Ejapamersa, admitted that although there may be challenges, work has begun to correct most of the concerns raised. If we're dealing with local participation, okay, local content and local participation, there are provisions that relate to entities that are incorporated in Ghana and there are rela uh, uh, regulations that deal with Ghanaian participation. And so, yes, any company that is incorporated in Ghana is Ghanaian. But there are provisions that deal with Ghanaian who then incorporate companies that are Ghanaian and the level of participation that those entities can... Uh, I don't have the detail here, but I'm saying that adequate provision has been made to ensure that Ghanaians and non-Ghanaian but Ghanaian registered entities, including those that come under the AFC, FTA uh, are all catered for. The report also revealed that Ghana earned about $6.55 billion from oil and gas production by the end of 2020.